When it comes to the most famous music venues in all of history, most of them assume that any worth knowing are remnants of the rock and roll era. While in most cases this is in fact true, there's at least one venue that predates the rock and roll era by nearly a century. And it continues to host some of the biggest bands on the planet and be name checked in unforgettable songs. Beginning construction in 1867, there are a few buildings that mean more to the arts in general than London's Royal Albert Hall. The hall was originally supposed to be called the Central Hall of Arts and Sciences, and the idea was birthed by Queen Victoria's consort, Prince Albert, though it was renamed for the man after he passed away before construction on his idea could even begin. Officially opened on March 29th of 1871, it was during that first classical concert that the massive echo problem in the hall was first discovered. And for many years, it was joked that the hall was the only place in the world that a British composer could be sure of hearing his work played twice. A canvas awning was placed into the hall to try and solve it, but it really didn't do much good, and it would be nearly a century before the echo problem was properly resolved. Due to its extremely distinctive exterior construction, the building escaped World War II relatively untouched as German fighter pilots were said to have used it as a landmark from the air. Finally, in 1969, the echo problem was resolved with the installation of massive fiberglass diffusing discs. They look like giant mushrooms or flying saucers, and they've become part of the distinctive interior look of Royal Albert Hall. The only other massive change came at the end of the 1990s when the building was basically refitted for modern crowds. They added in new ventilation, bars, additional seating, and new technology in terms of lighting and audio. They also put a few additions onto the building, as well as finally reconstructing the great organ, which boasts just one less than 10,000 pipes. Over the decades, the Royal Albert Hall has hosted the greatest performers in every genre of music, as composers like Wagner and Verdi both conducted there, and to this day, every single summer, they host an eight-week daily classical concert series called The Proms. The hall was also the site of the final performances of both the band Cream, as well as the original lineup of the Jimi Hendrix experience. The hall is also famously mistaken as the site of a Bob Dylan concert bootleg, as Columbia Records released a record called Bob Dylan Live 1966, the Royal Albert Hall Concert, when the show was in fact played at the Free Trade Hall in Manchester. In modern times, everyone from Jay-Z to the Cinematic Orchestra to Adele have played the Royal Albert Hall, and there's no arguing that amongst the greatest and most important venues in all of music history, no other can even remotely compare to the status of London's Royal Albert Hall. <laughs>